In this video, we will learn about a style property which is called transform. Transform basically used to modify the appearance and position of a component in 2D and 3D dimensions. We can basically transform any component uh, uh, of uh, transform any component in its scale in translation in rotation. We can basically scale it. To look much bigger or smaller we can also translate it to the new location using the XY coordinates and we can also rotate the component so first of all create a react native project and open it on visual studio code I already opened the iOS simulator it also works with the Android simulator so if you are using windows machine you can use android emulator also so first of all we'll be seeing each exa every example uh, which uh, transform providers and one by one we we create multiple views and apply those uh, transform properties to it so first of all let me just import scroll view then text now scroll view let me apply a style to it dot scroll content container Now let us create our first view, and create a text, this will be our original object, we apply some style to it, and is equal to style dot box let's say, and in text styles dot text okay so this will be our original object now our next object we will scale it by two view text scale by 2 now let's provide styling for it style is equal to First of all, this styles dot box to provide background color and the border. Then we provide transform transform and we scale it in every direction by two. Now the next one the next one we will scale it in only x direction stylus dot box. transform scale x let's say 2 
scale x by 2. Now in our next object we will be scaling in y direction. Standard box. Transform. Scale Y. Two. Scale Y. Y two. Now, for our next object, we will be rotated by 45 degree view, text, rotate by 45 degree. Mm. Let me also provide style to every text component here. Okay. In view, styles dot box remains the same. Then transform rotate in every direction by forty five degree. For our next view, uh, we will be rotating the uh, view in both x and z direction stands down text rotate x and z by 45 degree in style first of all style this dot box transform the first one is rotate x by 45 degree um, rotate z also 45 degree as you can see Now, for our next uh, view, we'll be rotating it into Y and Z degree. So, let me just copy this much, paste it over here. Y, we just need to change this property. Rotate, Z, rotate Y instead of rotate Z. Now the next one is skew. Skew basically disturbs the uh, overall structure of the cube. View text style stop text skew by 45 
skew in x direction style is equal to style start box transform Q X forty five degree now let me just copy this and we will simply change it to skew x to skew y so it will be the it will be skew into y direction Now for the next, we will use translator translation. So translation basically uh, we move the object. We basically change the position of the object in x and y direction. So let me just show you. Let me create a view. Text. I'll start text in view style start box transform we will be translate into x direction minus 50 it will change its direction from center to left by this much now let me just copy this much and let me change it to y let me change it to plus to it will be moved by 50 in the y direction. Now select y, y 50. So x by minus 50. So that's it. Let me just apply styling for it. First of all, scroll contain container align items. Let's say center. Fading bottom will be 60. Now let's style the overall box. Height and width will be the same. Then let's apply border radius also. By 5. Let's apply margin margin vertical. Background color. Let's say yellow. Align items. Center. 
and justify content also be center now for the text font size 15 font weight bold margin of 8 color black and text align center let me just save the styled file and now we have not to use this user app and instance so let me just okay so we have first we have created the original object then in the next object we scale it uh, by two in every direction then in the next two cube uh, one is scale x by two and one is scale y by two then we rotate it 45 degree and then the both x and z direction and then x and y direction and then we skew g cube and ultimately we translate it so let me just save this as you can see it works perfectly fine the first one is our original object as you can see it has the same height and width then we scale it by 2 and in every direction it will be scaled by 2 in x and y as well now in the next we scale it in x by 2 so you can see that in x direction it scale it and in the next one it scale it in y direction then we rotate it to 45 degree then we rotate it to x and z both 45 degree you can see the difference over here then rotation in x and z and y and z then this is our skew x skew by 45 degree in the y direction by 45 degree you don't require skew property that much but it is important to know about rotation and translation and scaling these three are the basic one as you can see we translate it by 50 in the x direction in the left hand side because we provide minus and this translate by 50 let me just say 25 as you can see it moves a little bit up so this is how you can use transform property for styling and apply various transformation to components you can also apply it to images and views so that's it for this video thanks for watching it